how to create upwork portfolio hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can create a portfolio for your upwork account so having said that let's just jump into the video so there are a couple of ways that you can do this you can either create a portfolio on upwork or you can create a, a portfolio website to showcase all of your work and usually that is a better option but you know you should also have a portfolio on upwork so let's get into it i already have an account so i'm just simply gonna go ahead and log in and if you don't you can sign up and let's get into it all right so once you're logged in you should be good to go and this is how it looks like now next what you want to do is to create a portfolio you want to go to your profile and once you're over here down below you will see you have the portfolio section so over here you have a couple of different portfolios right so you have the drafts the published ones as well and over here you can see you can move around and you will find all of the videos and portfolios that you have i haven't updated mine in quite a while so we should update that i will update that later but you know just so you know you can create multiple different portfolios over here for specific different uh, profiles so for example if you do video editing voiceovers uh, and uh, thumbnail design and podcast editing and stuff like that you can create a customized portfolio for each of those type of work and you can also create a customized profile as well and you can assign those portfolios as well so just simply click on this plus icon to add stuff to your portfolio right so over here if you click on it this is how it will look like you will have your project title over here you will enter in your project title it will briefly describe what it is enter in your role it can be you know optional but you know it depends on you project description enter in the description of the project skills and deliverables and related upwork jobs if you have done them in the past as well and over here you can add the media so you can add images videos text files uh, shareable links or articles uh, pdfs and audio files as well and once you've done that you can click on next to preview it but since i haven't added anything yet so i'm gonna go ahead and add some and you have to make sure that you are uploading up to 10 gigabytes of images and if you're uploading a video then make sure it's up to 100 mb right there's not a whole lot of space so make sure you upload a tiny tiny little bit so we'll just simply go ahead and do it let me just remove this and upload the video you can either up paste the youtube link or you know vimo video or you can upload your own video so i'm just simply going to go ahead and upload it right here this is a previous video that i created and while that uploads what you can do now is you can enter in the project title you can enter in the role and then you can describe what it is that you did or what your goal was and over here you can skills and deliverable so i'll just write voiceover or voice acting because i don't think they have screen casting over here voice recording is also matches this description uh, let me search screencast screencasting there we go screencasting so we'll do that and another voiceover recording that's also works so we'll just add those right there we can add one more so we'll just do it why not uh, voice acting we'll do that and in this description we'll just say in this video i would describe so something like this you can go ahead and do this and then you can go ahead and search for a related job that you did let me search for it so this is a job that i had done in previously so i'll just simply go ahead and you know do that it is optional if you want to it helps but if you don't want to you can leave it it's optional then what you can do is you can add more content to it if you want just to make it you know look more presentable but i believe this is all the necessary information that you need and once that's done all you got to do is click on next to preview and this is the preview over here you will see the role the project description skills and deliverables you can do all of that and once that's done just simply click on next to thumbnail and then you'll choose a thumbnail you can go ahead and change it up if you'd want to you can go ahead and change it but i don't know about this thumbnail though i can't zoom in maybe if i do again click it again no i have to have to select this thumbnail if you already have a thumbnail in mind if you already have a thumbnail ready then you should go ahead and use it right but i don't just for the sake of this video we'll just select this thumbnail as a preview so we'll just simply click on publish although it does help to have a pretty good thumbnail so that you know it's an eye catching and boom your portfolio project is finished and there you go and that is how you do it now of course you can add more stuff to it as you can see there's a lot of other stuff as well like profiles as well the video production profile uh, voice talent profile you can add different you know uh, profiles over here 
and you can add more stuff within these uh, portfolios as well it helps to keep your portfolio up to date remove all the previous work add new work to it check it out but yeah what i think is best is you create your own website and you upload all of your portfolios all of the work that you did over there add testimonials from your clients or customers and then what you can do is whenever you're applying for a job either on fiverr or upwork just showcase your website just tell them this is my website over here you can check out all of them and you can even put your email or contact information so they can contact you later as well so yeah so make sure to do that as well there are tons of free websites like wix wix is a really really good tool that you can create really really beautiful websites on uh, for portfolios so definitely check that out and yeah let me know in the comment sections if you have any questions regarding portfolios it's actually very straightforward and easy so it's right here nothing complicated at all uh, you will have some drafts over here but you know it's okay but yeah just simply come over here and click on the plus icon and fill out the form upload the media make sure you have a good thumbnail and you should be good to go and also make sure that you know you put like uh your website over here somewhere in your profile i haven't done that because i haven't been very active on upwork now let me just before i end this video let me just show you a simple tool that can help you with that as i said before wix is a really really good solution uh you can come over here create a really good portfolio website right and for free as well of course you're gonna have to buy a domain so that is that but the rest of the options are actually really really cool now when you first uh, log in into your wix account uh, it will be a little bit different but all you have to do is click on create new site and once you do that it'll take you over here where you can use the ai tool or you know try wix studio it depends on you but let's just say we want to create on wix editor we select that option and you can set up without chat or you know with the ai it depends on you but i'm going to do it without because it's just that easy and over here just add in the type of website you want so we want a portfolio website right so we'll just simply click over here and now we just select a type of portfolio that would work for us so if you're a video editor you can go ahead and select the video portfolio option if you're an illustrator designer you can go with that it depends on you right so let's just say we'll go with a creative portfolio we'll click on continue and then it'll set everything up for us now over here just enter in the name of your website we'll just say portfolio my portfolio whatever we can use some of these wix apps if we want to but for now we'll skip it now we'll continue to dashboard and now we just simply click on design the site over here we can select a template or we can you know create with ai but it's actually very simple now over here you can see you can you have all these different portfolio websites that you can select and you can go ahead and do so over here this one actually looks pretty cool so if i click on view let's view this website so over here uh you have a profile picture hello and a little bit about me over here you can add the resume projects and contacts and that is literally it i think this is actually a really good option so you can go ahead and select one of these add it to your you know profile and you should be good to go so thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye